welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on a uh, crappie jig. Um, in particular, we will be tying up a uh, eighth ounce um, neck hackle uh, crappie jig uh, in the color blue frost. For the uh, tools, you'll need uh, a fine uh, pair of scissors here. Um, the uh, whip finishing tool, a bobbin with some thread, and I'm using uh, 210 denier uh, flat wax nylon thread. The first item that we need is, is our uh, neck hackle, which is, um, I purchased it from Crazy Angler, and I'll throw a link in the description for you. All right, the, uh, the next item we need is our uh, Chanel. Um, this is a white pearl. Uh, in the uh, large size. Uh, you can get it in large, medium, or small. And then we're also going to be adding a, a bit of flash to it. So this is the uh, uh, flash accent rainbow that I have. I picked up a Bass Pro. And then we will also be using some uh, Loctite super glue uh, that's brush on. Okay, the first thing is go ahead and grab your, your feather, get a, a single feather here. Um, and we're going to cut off just the top portion of that. And you need some really fine scissors to do that. Um, but you just want to go in there very top and nick that. And you'll see you're left with that V shape there. And then the piece that we cut off is going to be our very end of our our jig and then for our other pieces of it or parts of our feather we're going to keep that V shape there and then we'll cut them into you know half an inch to maybe an inch or so you see how it remain keeps that V shape and then then the part we just cut off looks like that so you end up with you know the top of your feather on my left hand here and then you the other parts of the feather which you can usually get like two or three of them um, from the rest of the feather so these these are the parts you need so what we end up what we end up doing is we end up layering them together to form the uh, the feather part of our jig as you can kind of see here we'll tie that on there so we already have our jig head all painted and the eyes glued on, so the last step is to uh, tie it up. Secure that in the vise. Um, then you'll want to grab your, your bobbin and thread, and we're going to lay down a base layer starting at the head here. Work your way back to, um, to the point that the hook starts to curve. There. I'll quickly wrap back up to the head and then one more pass back. And then I like to do a loop knot at the end here. And then grab your scissors and, and cut off that excess. Okay, now grab uh, your feathers. You, you want uh, the two different types. You want the very tip of the feather that we cut off earlier. And then we also want one of the uh, V-shape that we cut off. And we're just going to layer those together. You know, take your time with this and make sure it looks looks good while you're doing that. And see there, have them layered up. All right, once you have that uh, you know, position the way that you want it, go ahead and lay it over on your jig head. And we only want about a half inch at most to be laying off the back of the hook there. We don't want the, the fish to be nipping at the feather and not, not get the hook. So just a quick wrap up and then another pass back down. sticking up there. All 
All right. Now that our feathers secured on there, the uh, next step is to add our, our flash that we have. So I'm gonna grab one strand out of here. And we'll kind of fold it in half here. And we're gonna secure it so that one strand is on each side of the hook. on that. Make sure we got it the way we want before we secure it down. So we'll get one on each side. We'll cut off the excess of the front here. We'll finish tying that on. So one pass all the way up and then one pass back. Next step is to add our Chanel on. So I'm gonna wrap all the way up to the head here. And then grab the very end of it. Put that up here at the very top of the head. The very bottom of the head. And wrap that around a couple times. lay it on top of the hook and then we're going to wrap down to our very bottom. There we go, as you can see. And then uh, once we, we get down to where we want our, our Chanel to stop, we'll wrap all the way back up to the front of the or bottom of the head. Just a quick wrap up, just like that. So now, um, what I like to do is I like to actually add a little bit of uh, super glue just on the very top here. So make sure it stays in place. And then we want to wrap our Chanel very tightly around the hook. Now that we have that on there, uh, we're going to do a couple wraps at just the very front here, and then we're going to cross over, so we're on the other side of our, our Chanel, and do a couple more wraps, cross over one more time, a couple more wraps, and that should secure this in place, and we'll cut off the excess. And then we need our, our whip finishing tool here. Um, place, place your thread in the very front half part of it and then wrap it around that back half and cross it over. And we're gonna do four wraps. One, two, three, four. And that'll secure it in place, there's a couple strands here that are got loose. Cut off our excess thread. Remove any of the additional fluff that came off. Last step is to uh, cut off our back half of the uh, flash, and I like to go uh, just slightly past, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so, uh, past our feather, just like that. And that is our finished product. Um, try to clean up any of the straggler threads that are on there.
If you have any uh, questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll, I'll do the best I can to answer them. Thank you.